Hey there, welcome, I'm John Zadar. This is November 15th, Monday, and you're watching On Top and Hot, brought to you by Penny Boys. Penny Boys has a university that'll teach you how to trade, teach you how to trade confidently and strategically, make money regularly. Now what I do here, folks, is I look at OTC and penny stocks, and normally we look at stocks that are going to run. Stocks are going to take off and make us all kinds of money tomorrow or the next day. And that's great. I love doing it. But there's the other side of the coin. The OTC market is also about finding stocks before they run, finding unicorns, finding those stocks that are undervalued and given a little bit of time can make you a lot of money. I've got a few. Now, the truth of the matter is, <laughs> I did have three, and I, uh, I made a mistake, and I, I deleted a bunch of information that I just don't have time to redo, and I don't want to cheat you of a video tonight, so I'm bringing you what I got. I got two good stocks that are undervalued, under the radar, given a little time with the products they've got, can make you a lot of money. Check them out. We're taking a look at Revitalist Lifestyles and Wellness. This is ticker RVLWF. They finished the day at 32 cents with over 40% drop. Could be a buying opportunity, not always looking for the next day runner. Sometimes you're looking for a stock that's had a bad day and you want to cash in on it when days get sunny again. This is on the OTC market and is pink current. They have a verified profile and independent directors, which you need if you plan on uplisting. You don't have to have them unless you plan on uplisting. So, all right, so what does it tell us here? Revitalist operates medical clinics providing cutting edge evidence-based treatments on the forefront of mental health and pain conditions. Taking a look at their website here, we can see they work with depression, pain, suicidal ideation, mental health, uh, and they, and they are working in lots of different organizations. They are spreading the word that they have these programs to help people. They tell us that they work with ketamine and spiravido and a lot of other things that I'm not aware of that they say are helping. Now they tell us here that they have a goal of opening 120 clinics. Right now they've got five. They say that over 100 clinics under management worldwide with the hundreds of thousands of new patients inquiries to the ketamine information. So they've got a lot going on. So what was the RVOL? That is relative volume. How much more was being sold or bought today than yesterday? Well, a lot. There was 10 times as many shares moving today. Sad to say, they were all going the wrong direction, 40% down, which isn't all that great. I will grant you that. All right, let's see what we have over here in disclosures. Anything particular? No, just the regular filings for financials. So taking a look at the news, if we go all the way back to, whoa, October, <laughs> that's when they came on the market in the USA. And then a couple weeks later, they were on the market in Germany. Really moving along, they acquired their Virginia Ketamine Clinic in that same period of time, just last month. And you'll see that they're entering other markets, outpatient space, TMS markets. These are all different programs with different organizations for different situations for treating patients. And they are just signing up lots of them. They've got, uh, they just signed up a clinic here in Knoxville, Tennessee, which gives them a total of eight clinics in five states. They're after what, 130. And up here, pretty amazing, they tapped into 19 million U.S. vets with the U.S. Department of Defense contract. That's right, working with the VA. These are the type of organizations they're outfitting with, and this is really, really going to get them growing. And from what I understand, uh, insurance will pay for the services that they're providing. Now, this is where I'm pushing towards, though, the virtual clinics in the metaverse. Would you believe that? Check this out. Very interesting news. 
It says here that the company has executed a binding letter of intent with MetaChain Technologies to develop virtual mental health clinics in the metaverse with real-time patients and real-time mental health professionals. Now, this virtual world allows real people to gather, socialize, play, and work with other people who aren't in the same physical space. Imagine that. We're talking about virtual reality therapy. You're not even in the same room with the person you're talking to. Please, make yourself comfortable. Lay down. <laughs> But maybe that's the thing. Maybe people will actually talk easier when they are actually talking to an avatar. You know, maybe the avatar can be somebody you like, like uh, Winnie the Pooh. And you get to tell all your feelings to Winnie the Pooh. Really, who knows where the therapy is going to go with virtual reality there to help you. So I see this as being a big thing. And they've got plans. They to want to develop a virtual clinic in the metaverse, which will allow patients to attend virtual metaverse mental health sessions with revitalist mental health professionals in real time. They want to create a cryptocurrency token that can be used for payment of mental health services. And finally, they want to create a non-fungible token that will act as a reward for completing programs. You know, kind of like alcoholics get those coins for each month or each year that they go. They're creating stuff here. So I find this very intriguing. I think therapy in virtual lands in metaverse is going to be actually very popular. I think people will like not leaving their home to get therapy. And I think they will like not talking to a real person, but an avatar. I think it's going to make things easier. So I think you ought to consider this. Let's go take a look at some more information. Now, if you don't recognize this platform, it's TOS, Think or Swim. I got it for free and so can you. Just sign up with TD Ameritrade. They don't need a deposit. You don't have to trade with them. Just keep your account open and you can use this too. We are looking at RVLWF. This is six month, four hours. Scarcely traded, not a lot of bars on the chart. We can see that it's been volatile here just recently. We hit a high bubble and a low bubble all in a very short period of time. And what's funny is that this had a huge climb, then a huge fall all the way till today. This is the 10th of this month. So what happened on the 10th? Well, it says here that the revitalist CEO, Catherine Walker, received the Entrepreneur of the Year Award at Wonderland, Miami. Sounds like good news to me. And that Wonderland Miami is where they held the world's largest psychedelic medicine business event. Now, the day before they were talking about the clinical research collaboration with MYND, which I do believe is a psychedelic company. Now, it rose on the 10th and then it fell. So I don't understand because I don't see any just cause for why it should fall unless something happened behind the scenes. In either case, there it is. So we have that bubble in our time span now. As a matter of fact, both are. See that? Very close together. The high and the low for the entire six month have happened in this last week. That's a lot of volatility, even though the price has fallen. And notice that volume is packed here in this corner. It's tall out here, but there's a lot of bald spots in between. There's no baldness in here, just that low bubble and the price gone sideways. Now, it doesn't look promising. No, the MACD looks flat. The RSI is under 30. And we just hit a low bubble that it doesn't seem to be climbing off of. But I see value in this company, folks. The health sector is a giant sector. Do you know that last year alone, 24% of all money invested on the market went into the health sector? That is a ton of money. And this company is targeting big organizations right up to the government and the VA. And the VA is even going to have it covered by the government. This is amazing. They've got a lot of programs that are reaching people where they're at. They're going to have, what, 120 clinics by 2023. They've got hundreds of these ketamine clinics around the world that they're managing. And now they want a metaverse virtual clinic where people can go get therapy without leaving their house. Folks, this is more than simple. It's, it's very well timed, and I think it will be a huge success. As silly as it sounds, yes, virtual reality therapy will probably be 
as, as popular as sliced bread. Not kidding here. But you do your DD, you weigh it up. It is at an excellent buying price right now. The stock is not getting any love. Give it some time, give it some love, and I am sure this will probably pay you back tenfold easily down the road. So we're taking a look at Alpha Esports Tech, ticker APETF. I feel like I'm spelling a word. And they finished the day at 21. Actually, they didn't. They finished the day under 21 cents. While I was setting up, I seen it jump to just over 21 cents. They had finished the day 2% down, and they are almost 2% up. So they've had some aftermarket activity, which is not common on OTC stocks, especially pinks. So that's a good sign. Glad to see that. Speaking of pink, it's pink current. It's in good condition, has a verified profile, and I don't see any other information here, which I kind of thought I might. The relative volume today was double. They did twice as many shares. I have watched it jump. It was at 139,000. I've now seen it jump to 140,000 while I've been talking to you. And it is aftermarket hours. The share structure, I can't tell you a whole lot. Don't tell me much. I see their outstanding share count is 60 million, so I can assure you that the float is not over 60 million, which isn't a bad float, actually. Now, what is curious over here is that there are no financials. Not only are there no financials here, but I can't find them on Google. Same with the disclosures. The disclosures are the financials, but there are 8Ks and S1s and 6s and other filings, which there's just none here and I couldn't find any on Google. But it occurs to me as I was making this video actually, I only looked up APETF, which is the American ticker. It's a Canadian company. They may surely have filed all their information over in Canada, which isn't surprising because I find a lot of gaps in information on this site for foreign companies. And it isn't that they haven't filed, it's just that they're not filing on this side of the border. They're filing wherever they're at. So I wouldn't be too scared here because as I said, there's no warnings over here. There's no other information, shell risk, shell company, nothing like that. So I would be pretty assured to think this company's in good shape. All right, what does this company do? Well, Alpha Esports Tech is a technology company focused on emerging industries and esports, mobile gaming, e-commerce, and high growth opportunities. Basically, Alpha Esports is an online gaming company and the gaming sector is predicted to surpass over $200 billion by 2023. That is just around the corner. And COVID-19, it created some real serious tailwinds for the gaming industry, which has not only caught the attention of a wider audience, but has spiked interest from traditional sports organizations as well. Alpha Esports is set to capitalize on this growing gaming trend through its competitive gaming platform called Gamers Arena. They offer head-to-head -head tournaments, betting, skill-based contests, league play, and it's all paid with AlphaCoin. AlphaCoin is a Bitcoin peg token that has a real monetary value and can be cashed in. Gamers Arena platform provides a high quality experience and leverages a freemium model freemium. That means they have free games you can play and actually win money. But the free games are just how they get people to step onto the platform, how to try it and actually win money and get excited. And for $12.99 membership, they can gain access to higher paying tournaments along with the ability to access special events for bigger prizes. But in saying that, there is more to this than just money. There is an actual opportunity to be scouted, to become a professional premium gainer. There are universities and esports teams that are scouting individuals from sites like this. How would you like to get a professional paying job as a gamer? But keep in mind that the company is not just doing this all on their own. The whole point is to create a community. This is why they're connecting and making partnerships with all sorts of groups and the list is truly endless. Now, according to the company, they have already worked with huge names in sports, entertainment, 
and education, including the New York Jersey Devils, the Vancouver Whitecaps, Barstool Sports, ESPN, Radio, Devil Child, Oxygen, Esports. I mean, the list goes on and on, and they keep adding to it all the time. As a matter of fact, Alpha Esports is also the official online gaming portal of Nets Gaming Crew, the NBA 2K League affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, providing Alpha the opportunity to directly connect with Nets GC's network of fans and the NBA 2K League community. So this is the whole point is that they are building a community that is just getting bigger and bigger for people to play games and make money while having fun. That is always an enticement to profit. So now we've got a general idea of what the company is. Now I like to look at the headlines of news. It's an easy way like cliff notes to get an overview of what the company's been doing, where they're going, what they're about without having to do a lot of diving in. And I'm looking at their news now and it only goes back to September of this year. And I had a feeling they must have had more news than that. So I did a Google search and sure enough, I found this and there was lots of them. This is from December of last year, Alpha Esports Tech to acquire tournament community HyperX. Then I found this one for June, Centric Gaming announces Alpha Esports Tech partnership. And right after that in July, another one, Alpha Esports Tech renews and expands Oxygen Esports deal. There was lots of news. These are just a few to show. And you can see they're continuing. APNA hockey deal here in September. Then they had a partnership with Intel India, which is a very big group. Uh, another partnership with Nets Gaming Crew. Uh, then they had a deal with Esports Entertainment to help their scoring on their platform to be more live, more streaming, and verified. They're doing everything right now, and all of these groups are doing the same thing. They are promoting the tournaments. Everybody's promoting the tournaments and there are just thousands and hundreds of thousands of people now that have access to the gaming platform. But the company went and crossed a line. They sure did. Here last month, they signed a definitive agreement to acquire Heavy Chips Casino and Sports Betting from GameSoft LTD. And just at the beginning of this month, they closed the deal. So now it's not just playing games and arcades and challenges and contests. It is literal gambling and casino and sports betting. So they've included two sides of the coin now. And I think that is very appealing for both sides of the market. You get people who want to play but not gamble and people who want to gamble but not play. But then the company did one more thing, which I thought was pretty ingenuitive. Right here in this piece of news, Alpha Esports, they combine metaverse and real world unique user experiences. What does that mean? Let me show you. Alpha Esports Tech combining metaverse and real world for unique user experiences. This is more than you think it is. Alpha Esports Tech, subsidiary Paradise City Gaming to develop AR, augmented reality, based experiences to increase their foothold within the metaverse. Now, first off, this Paradise City Gaming, I just showed you a, a host of companies that they partnered with. This was not one of them I found. I could not find any news that says when it happened, nor could I find a disclosure. So I don't know where they came from. They may have had them from a very long time ago. Nonetheless, here they are, and they have begun to develop their own metaverse technologies, which are AR-based, augmented reality experience that will bring virtual world together with physical world. Real quick, what's the difference between a virtual world and augmented reality? Well, let's say augmented, you bring the cartoon tiger into your living room. It walks on your floor, it jumps on your couch. You look at it through your phone and you can see the tiger in your house where a virtual world is you stepping into the world. You probably need a pair of goggles and everything you look at around you is fake and you're the only real thing in there. Where in augmented reality, everything is real but the one fake thing that they've injected into it. And they are creating challenges in the real world using augmented reality since they're already doing challenges in the digital world. I thought it was pretty ingenious myself. And they're using the same technology, Niantic Software Toolkit Lightship, which was used on the Pokemon Go app, 
which is a huge, huge success, had over 100 million downloads. But they've got plans to go with this. Oh, and before I miss this, these challenges, they're going to pay off with NFTs. There's your foothold into the metaverse. Those NFTs, they're going to actually pay people off with them as well as those alpha coins, which have a monetary value. So they do have ways of pulling more people into their games by just reaching into the real world. And they tell us that they believe esports and mobile gaming will be one of the first integrations into the metaverse and it's important to stay ahead of the competition. And they're probably right. We love our entertainment, at least on this side of the world. I mean, I did hear just a little while ago that uh, South Korea is doing City Hall as their first metaverse. Literally, the government is, uh, the entire City Hall government is going metaverse, and if you want to take care of anything, you'll actually go in there and get live help in the metaverse. You won't go to a building anymore. How about that? So I believe in this country, entertainment will be forefront runners, just lagging behind military. <laughs> and we will see a lot of growth in esports, e gaming, uh, shopping, just anything to entertain us and keep us happy and calm because, hey, we pay for pleasure, don't we? All right, hold on, hold on. This is an inject. Since I brought up no financials, but maybe with a Canadian ticker, I just did a search. I found some. Now, I haven't dove deep into it, but I've gotten enough information here to at least show us they are making income. This is June 2021. It's not big income. Uh, here it says, and there may be triple zeros. I don't see that they say Adam, but there could be. I got $2,100. It could be $2 million. It says that they have $1.7 million cash on hand, short-term investments. So we see that they are doing business. It looks like they're running a bit at a loss right now, so they could use some more income. Good timing. Now taking a look at AP ETF on the six month, four hour chart. This is as far back as it goes. This is when she started trading actually on July 15th. She started at 77 cents, a little strange. It fell hard and really fell hard on this day. In four hours, it went 27,000%. It fell to a penny and went up to 27 cents, folks. That's 2,700%. But keep in mind, it was up here. So it fell all that way first. So it traveled a very, very long ways to get that 2,700%. But remember, this has only got 60 million in the float. Less, actually. That's the outstanding. Now, looking at this, this is the average low you can see there's nothing down here except this low, and there's one little tag right there, but it doesn't ever happen again. This is its average low, and you can see how close we are to it right now. And she hasn't had a lot of growth, but she's had a lot of volume. You can see the volume is pretty consistent, but that's based on what, 70,000 shares a day. So I wouldn't count on the volume being a great lead here. Let's come in on the five day, five minute. All right, she is just, Falling slowly down, picked up some momentum here, tried to bounce back to get to that 200. Did not like getting that far away, but had no real strength to do it. Hit what they're considering as a low bubble now because we're in a smaller time frame. So this is the low now, and you can see it's fighting it. It got very close to the average low, and it is coming up. MACD is showing signs of growth. RSI is showing signs of growth. It does show signs of recovery. And it is about to cross the 50-day SMA, which is a very strong one. We want that, but we also want this 50 SMA to cross the 200. All of these are backwards right now. This 10, 20, the 50, and the 200 should all be flipped with the price on the top. You want the biggest one, the 200, like a big rock on the bottom. And you want this light two, uh, 10 day to be floating up here at the top like a feather. Then the price on top. So this has some work to do. It does show strength and power right now. I keep my eye out on this because not only are they into contests and challenges where people can make money for free or even more money if they just want to pay a cheap membership, they can also start gambling, sports betting. And that's a big, big market that is just opening up here in America. It is not illegal for the states to sports bet. It is up to every state to decide and half of them have already legalized it. So we are making 
headway. And they've got that new AG contest uh, challenges in the real world and I'm not sure what that is but all of this is starting right now this month get in while it's at a low bubble and let it grow don't be in too much of a hurry folks this is a market that's got lots of room to grow as does the stock well two is better than none right so we've got two of them there which just what coincidentally happened to be mentioning the metaverse it seems everybody is getting into it one company there has got all the gaming going on from gambling to just playing and making money while you're doing it the other one has got a virtual reality therapy and lots of clinics that they're opening up they're definitely different but they're touching on to the same realm using the metaverse to expand their business and i think you're going to see all businesses expanding through the metaverse why because it's just another environment to advertise on every company celebrity brand logo can do anything and everything that we're going to come up with we don't know what it is yet, but I guarantee you, they will come up with stuff. Just like the internet, and we thought, what are we going to do with a computer in our house? Word processing, accounting, what do you do with a computer? Look at everything we do with a computer. And now, that's going to be the minimal. Now, virtual reality, augmented reality are going to open up concepts and practicalities we never thought of. And advertising is always going to be at the top of the list. Remember, folks, do your own DD with these companies. Do your own DD for every company, whatever you hear about them. Don't trust anybody but your own because it's your money. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.